Hey guys, Justin here with the Satellite Phone Store and today we're gonna talk about the Iridium Extreme. Let's go over the contents of the Iridium Extreme box. So first thing first, you'll see that the phone is in here. There's also a quick start guide. This comes in multiple languages. The quick start guide has some really useful information on getting started with your phone. Inside the box itself, you'll see that there is a charger. This charger is an international charger and it comes with a bunch of different adapters for different countries such as Europe, United States, South America, etc. It's got a bunch of different adapters. There's also a car charger. This is so that you can use this in the car. You'll see a little box. This is the battery. And then it comes with a nice little phone case so that you can clip your phone in. It directs the antenna up so that you can still get uh, calls or text messages when you're walking outside. Now let's get into how you charge this device. This is a little different from some of the other phones. You actually really need to make sure you don't lose this and that you keep this handy because in order to keep this thing water resistant, they had to basically create this little rubber stopper on the bottom here and you'll move that down here like this and plug this in just slides on and clicks on. On the side here you have a mini USB. On this side here you have the plug for plugging in the international charger. You'll see that that just goes in right here. The mini USB can be used on a regular phone charger like a block you might have for your iPhone or your other phones. The same thing will work to charge the phone here. This also comes with another base bottom this right here is actually, you'll see, has this little adapter, this little wire that stands out. You can also still charge it with, with the mini USB and also the international charger on this side. But what this is for is for your external antenna, which you can place on the top of a vehicle. This is magnetic on the bottom here and it plugs in here. So that way you can make phone calls from within inside a vehicle, inside a house, as long as this is outside and pointing up to the sky unobstructed, then you're able to make calls from anywhere that you so desire. Let's talk about the SIM card real quick. You'll see here that there's a little tray. This tray slides over and then you'll lift the SIM card out very carefully. Do not rip this little plastic piece out. That will destroy the phone. You can pull the SIM card out. You'll see this is what the SIM card looks like. Inside here, there's a little groove, a little triangle groove. You're gonna wanna match up that little triangle groove with this little triangle groove and face the metallic SIM portion of the SIM card down. You're gonna slide that into this little piece here, push it down, and then you're gonna lock it back in place. To install the battery, we're just going to take this end, put it in first, Push it down and twist this piece here to lock it in place. And now that's the installation of the battery. Let's go over the buttons on the Iridium Extreme. Over here on the right hand side, we have the convenience key. And on the left hand side, we have the volume buttons. On the top of the device, we're gonna have the power button. And then we're also going to have the SOS button, which you have to remove this cap to get access to. On the front of the device, we have on the left hand side, the send key and on the right hand side, the end key, which is green and red. And we also on this up here, we have the select key on the left and the back key on the right. And in between those two, we have the scrolling keys to go up and down inside the menus. And below that, you'll see the numeral pad. The menu is as follows. My phone book, SIM phone book, messages, voicemail, data modem, call history, setup, security, and help. The first thing I would like to talk about is the difference between the Iridium 9555 and the Iridium Extreme. They're pretty similar phones, although the Iridium Extreme is ruggedized to military grade. It has an SOS button, and you also have the ability to track and share your GPS location. In order to use the phone, you're gonna to need to extend the antenna out and if you're putting it on your right ear, you're gonna to wanna to angle the antenna tip 
to the left. If you're gonna put it on your left ear, you're gonna to wanna to angle this antenna tip to the right. That way the phone is always facing directly up and communicating with the satellite. To make a phone call on your Iridium, you're going to dial 001, and then the phone number. In this case, we're gonna call the satellite phone store. You're gonna hit the green button, which is the call button. I'm gonna put this on speaker, which is under your options. Hey, is this a satellite store? Yeah, it is. Okay, this is uh, Justin, your video team. I'm calling you from Zion National Park and just testing out the phone. Okay, perfect. I'll figure that. And it's working great, so thank you guys. Yeah, my pleasure. I hope you have a great day, sir. You too, take care. And that's it, easy peasy. There are a couple different ways to ensure that you receive calls. The first thing is, is that you're gonna wanna make sure that the antenna is outdoors and pointing up to the sky. This can be achieved by having it inside your little case that's included with your phone and clipped to your belt with a clear view of the sky. As soon as you get a phone call or you hear it ringing, you're gonna to wanna to take it off, extend the antenna, hit the green button and answer the phone. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, so we're gonna go and set up voicemail. We're gonna go and press and hold the number one key. It's gonna go and call your voicemail. Yeah, I go to speaker mode. We're gonna go and put it on speaker mode. We're gonna go and interrupt this reading by pressing the key. Password is gonna be the last seven digits of your satellite phone number. In this case, mine is gonna be two, four, four, one, zero, six, two. Now we have access to our voicemail, which we can listen to our voice messages, change the greetings, or change your pin. To send text messages, hit the menu button, scroll down to messages, select create message. Using the T9 method, type your message. Once done, select options and hit add new recipient. You can enter the number starting with one and then the area code, or you can use a contact from your contact book. After you have entered the number or selected the contact, hit send. To receive a text message, you're gonna also wanna have the phone pointing towards the sky. It should be receiving text as long as it has connection. In order to read your text messages, you'll just go to yes, and it will pop up on your screen. To set up the SOS on your extreme, you'll first need to remove the battery on the back of your phone and write down the IMEI number. Also, make sure to keep your number to your device handy. Then on a web browser, go to my-geos.com. At the top of the page, click on register a device. Select Iridium Extreme under device list and fill out the forms below. Now that it is registered, power on the phone. It will have a prompt that Geos is not set up. Click on setup. Click on use and select. Confirm your setup on my Geos and you're ready to go. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe as we'll be adding more content, tutorials, as well as some of the other products that we carry. If you're looking to make an off the grid purchase, please visit sat619.com.